Late one autumn night, Tom was jolted awake by the unsettling cry of his baby monitor. The static-filled wail echoed through the spacious modern house he had recently moved into. Groggy and disoriented, he sat up in bed, his eyes darting to the small screen illuminating the dark room. Through the crackle, he saw his son Danny standing in his crib, staring directly at the camera. His face twisted in fear. Tom rushed to Danny's room, the soft glow of the hallway lights barely cutting through the deep shadows. As he approached, the crying stopped abruptly. He paused at the door, heart pounding, a sense of dread washing over him. Pushing the door open, he found Danny asleep, peaceful and undisturbed. Confused, Tom checked the room, under the bed in the closet. Nothing was amiss. Chalking it up to a bad dream, he returned to bed. But as he lay down, the baby monitor crackled to life again. This time, the voice was clearer, a harsh whisper. Look behind you. Tom froze, his breath caught in his throat. Slowly he turned, but there was nothing there. Just the dark, quiet room. Determined to dismiss it as sleep-deprived paranoia, Tom tried to go back to sleep. Yet as the hours crawled by, the whispers grew, each one more menacing than the last, narrating his actions in real time. Tom gets up. Tom checks the wall. Tom looks scared. By now, Tom was wide awake, terror gripping him. The whispers weren't coming from the monitor anymore. They filled the room, surrounding him. In desperation, he turned on every light in the house, the brightness pushing back against the unnerving darkness. As dawn neared, exhausted and rattled, Tom slumped in his living room, the TV on for company. The whispers had faded, the house now silent except for the low murmur of the morning news. Relief began to wash over him as daylight reclaimed the house, but it was short-lived. The TV suddenly flickered, the screen distorting. A shadowy figure appeared, its features blurred but unmistakably staring right at him. A cold voice spoke directly from the speakers, dripping with malice. Did you think you were alone? As the figure reached toward the screen, as if to break through, Tom recoiled in horror. The TV snapped back to the news, the cheerful morning anchor oblivious to the nightmare that had just unfolded. Tom knew then that whatever haunted his home was bound not by night but by his own fear. With the morning light as his shield, he fled the house, vowing never to return. The echo of the whispers trailing behind him in the wind.